Now, an issue you might have come across is that as you're recording or live streaming, you're noticing that you're out of sync with the audio and the camera. And it kind of looks like one of those badly overdubbed videos where they translate it into another language or something and it just looks distracting. We can fix that. Now, if you're in just your webcam and internal mic on your MacBook Pro or something, this won't be an issue to you. And please don't think that I'm referring to if you're looking like I am now at my screen, it looks out of sync. It, there's a slight delay in what I'm looking at. That's not what we're talking about. That's not an issue. That's just the case. And if you listen to the recording back afterwards, you'll be happy and see that it's fine. So we're not talking about that. We're talking about when you actually do a recording and you play it back and you go, no, it's definitely not right. Uh, this is how to fix it. Now we do have another video talking about this on YouTube, uh, actually using a third party tool that is a delay calculator. Uh, if you wanna go through that, it's very accurate to show how many frames out it is. We'll put a link to that in the description. But actually, I think you can do this by eye very much. And let me just show you what we're doing. If we bring up the preferences and we look under audio, you will notice that there is a slider here that says mic delay. And I've actually got mine set to two because the issue comes when, like in my case, I've got a camera that's coming across a HDMI feed, a cable, and I've got a microphone that is coming in over USB separately. And it seems that the microphone, the, the, the signal from the audio gets in quicker than the signal from the camera. And that's where we get this slight problem with delay. So uh, I know that in my setup, I need to have a two frame delay. But if I take this down for a minute, back to zero, so there is now no mic delay on, the way I would fix this, we come out of stream and we're gonna do a quick record only. And I go through this with, you know, I can have this next to me. It doesn't I don't need to be screen recording that, but I'm saying, right, this is me talking with mic delay zero. This is me talking with mic delay one. This is me talking with mic delay two. This is me talking with mic delay three. This is me talking with mic delay four. I doubt that you're gonna to need to get much higher than that. Five, six, um, I'm putting it in there. And then I hit finish, end record. We're gonna show that file, hit the space bar to get it to play. And I go through this with you know, I can have this next to me. It doesn't, I don't need to be screen recording that, but I'm saying, right, this is me talking with mic delay zero. This is me talking with mic delay one. This is me talking with mic delay two. This is me talking with mic delay three. This is me talking with mic delay four. There's not a lot of differences there. But two, three, or four really is um, where I set that mic delay to, and it seems to be right for me. But if you spotted it yourself and you see that it's wrong, then you should be able to visually spot it and see when it's right or not wrong. So if you wanna do that, that's um, fixing the uh, delay and notice that it stays up here now. And once it's on, I can actually adjust it from here if I wanted to. If you find it hard to visually see it and you'd rather have a tool or an app tell you that it's two, three, four frames, um, then as I say, check out that video in the description and uh, we'll introduce you to a tool that you can do this with. So hopefully that's helped and uh, I'll see you in another video.